And if Magic Johnson somehow revives the Lakers, it won't be the first time he has defied expectations to help a business succeed. Yeah, KCAL 9's Tom Waite reports tonight. A lot of people will already tell you that as an executive, he has that magic touch. Yeah, he's giving back to his community. Johnny Foster grew up in Baldwin Hills. He says Magic Johnson helped transform his neighborhood, investing part of his fortune here when many others would not. One of his most famous properties was his theater, which he has since sold. He had a movie theater here, uh, Magic Johnson, uh, Friday. So he's been doing a lot for the community. I did grow up here and I've been going you know, to that theater. We still continue to go there since I was a kid. So it was like, where are we going? The Magic Johnson Theater. Johnson's foray into business has earned him hundreds of millions of dollars. His investments include not just for profit companies, but nonprofits as well. The Magic Johnson Foundation is devoted to initiatives to help cure HIV AIDS. He's Showtime, he has the personality. He has the business acumen. David Newsbaum is with the Los Angeles Business Journal. He says Johnson can command a room seamlessly. Everyone knows that Magic's in the room. Everyone sees him. And he, he's able to draw out the best in his teammates, the best in you know, people that he's working with. And he's, he's a presence. Along with opening the Magic Johnson Theater in Baldwin Hills, Johnson also brought development to South LA. He was able to get a franchisee agreement with Starbucks so that he could put stores in locations that weren't traditionally targeted by Starbucks. Newsbomb also believes that Johnson should be credited for helping to pave the way for the new football stadium being built in Inglewood. In Baldwin Hills, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.